Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Some chills occur after exposure to a cold environment. They can also occur as a response to a bacterial or viral infection that causes a fever. Chills are commonly associated with the following conditions, bacterial or viral gastroenteritis. Make your mark, take our lead. Infection. When you shiver, but you don't feel cold, it could be a sign that your body is starting to fight off a viral or bacterial infection. Just as shivering is your body's way of warming up on a chilly day, shivering can also heat up your body enough to kill a bacteria or virus that has invaded your system. Take our lead. Chills can be a symptom of a serious or life-threatening infection or hypothermia. Seek prompt medical care or talk with a medical professional about your symptoms if they persist more than two days or if they cause you concern. Fever in infants and very young children can quickly become serious. Make your mark, take our lead. Feeling cold is most often due to actually being in a cold environment. In some cases, such as with infections, you may feel cold despite being quite warm. Other reasons for feeling cold include hypothyroidism, anemia, bacterial or viral infection, and hypothermia. Make your mark, take our lead. Sepsis is an overwhelming response of the body to infection, and it often occurs in connection with lung, skin, gut, or urinary tract infections. One of the symptoms of sepsis is shivering. Other symptoms include confusion, feeling sweaty or clammy, pain, raised heart rate, and shortness of breath. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.